Today is the day that we're going to break the record. We are going to make the fastest pulled pork in the world. Breaking that record of creating the fastest pulled pork in the world, it doesn't come easy, but we are prepared. I got this beautiful Iberico pork shoulder. Look at it. It's a beautiful chunk, but one of the steps of making the fastest pulled pork in the world is don't go too big. You can't break a world record by just showing up and doing your thing. You gotta think about these things. You gotta have a strategy. And one of the important elements that you need to think about is the meat that you select. You don't wanna end up with dry pulled pork. So you gotta select a nice and fat pulled pork. But on the other hand, you don't want it to be too big. You just want a small pork shoulder of a small, tiny little pork. Well, not too tiny, but there's like this moment where too tiny is like dry out tiny. You gotta have some volume, but you won't want a big pork butt. Otherwise, it's gonna take too long. Small pork shoulder, but not too small. This is the perfect size and it's around two kilograms. Let's get some flavor on this beautiful pork shoulder. Of course, you need the flavors of the pulled pork to pop. So we'll start with one part salt. To that, we'll add some paprika powder, a little bit of curry powder, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And if you want to make this rub, we've written it down for you on our website. Check it out. Once we got that rub all mixed up, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on our pork shoulder, rub it in, sprinkle on that rub, and give it a nice thick coating. Man, this thing is already looking good. I'm taking a moment here just to appreciate all of those beautiful smells that are coming off our rub. This is gonna be good. Only one thing left to do, fire up our Bernhard smoker. Burnout smoker is almost done and we're going to set it to smoke at a temperature of 190 degrees Celsius, which is really high and you would normally never do because it dries out your pork too fast. But if you want the fastest pulled pork, you're gonna raise the temperature and we're gonna raise it up to 190 degrees Celsius. So there we go. It's been a little over one and a half hours and our pork picked up a lot of color. Look at this, that beautiful, beautiful outside. We don't need to let this cook any longer because it's got its color and it's gonna have a beautiful smoke ring. So all we need to do now is take it off and protect it. And to protect it, we're gonna be wrapping it in aluminum foil. And I got one more trick up my sleeve. A little bit of apple cider vinegar, some sugar and a couple of tablespoons of our barbecue rub. Now we're going to let that come to a boil and add it to our pork. Now this is going to help it cook even faster and it's going to make it juicy. Wrap it all up and make sure you get it nice and tight. Now let's put this back on the barbecue and let it continue to cook. Now we're going to let this come up to a temperature of 98 degrees Celsius and then we're going to pull it. And there we have it, three hours pulled pork, one and a half hour smoking, one and a half hour wrapped with a boiling hot liquid. That's how you make a record time pulled pork. No resting, nothing else required. And that's my secret. And it looks juicy, but now let's do the taste test because what good is a record breaking pulled pork if it tastes like no... <sighs> Look at that, look at how juicy that is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I have a problem. How, how is it better than normal? Our racketon pulled pork? 
Why does it taste like it's poured in gravy or something? I'm just gonna say it. Why, why, why is there more flavor? It's the best pulled pork I ever made. I, I, I don't understand, I'm confused. Mm. I wasn't even hungry. It really is. It's so juicy and of course not totally by itself, but it tastes so freaking good. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything more. I'm, this is weird. We need to put this on a sandwich. pork has reached its final destination. Oh, 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 it looks good. I love to get that cabbage on. It just brightens things up. A little bit of apple cider vinegar and mayonnaise, and you're done. No more talking. What? You have to tell the people what do you think of how the sandwich looks. It looks amazing. There's a lot of meat on there. Just one more bite for good reference. Mm. I love a good pulled pork sandwich. It fills you up like nothing else. It's like a one of a kind thing. That thing falls off. But you gotta have the right condiments. You gotta have that, the cabbage, you gotta have, but if your pulled pork's not juicy, it's not gonna work. If it's not tender, it's not gonna work. If you don't have that beautiful bark, it's not gonna work. I don't know what to say. This has it all. I, I, I like the cabbage. <laughs> it's a beautiful pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> it absolutely freaking rocks. But honestly, this is just perfect. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the sandwich kind of takes away the magic of the pulled pork. It's, mmm. It's still amazing. No, yeah, it's still amazing. It's an amazing sandwich. Could this actually be the best pulled pork you ever created? But the amazingness of the, of the pulled pork coming out straight out of the tray, look at that. It's juicy, it's dripping fat, it's crazy. Um, Mmm. Just judging on the pulled pork itself, this might be the best pulled pork ever. No, and I love, I love a sandwich. Well, I thought that it was going to be okay pulled pork, but really, really quick. And you thought the same. You thought it was going to be quick pulled pork, just okay. It's not okay, it's above it. But it's just better straight out of the tray. That's how good this pulled pork is. Look at that. It has way more flavor than a normal pulled pork. And maybe there's even more flavor in it because it's packed in a tiny piece. I don't know, this is just my theory, but what's yours? It's just hands down the best pulled pork I ever made. And we did it in such a short time period. It's, it's mind blowing. We didn't even rest it. It just, bam, went straight in, pulled it apart, eat it. It's just about good pork. It's about good pork. Small package. A lot of bark. Give it a try, you won't be sorry. And for all your hardcore fans of pulled pork, I know I'm taking away a little bit of the fun in cooking it for a longer period of time and giving it a beautiful bark and doing it like, I don't know, the perf perfect way of doing it, like the art of making pulled pork. But if you make this, you won't be disappointed. I promise you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. A special thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. And, Morrison, what do we say? It's makkelijk. And? Keep on grilling. See, I don't have to do all the work. Morrison does something too. Come on, Morrison. I'm gonna finish my sandwich. But the pulled pork, how good is that pulled pork? I know, but I have to be honest, when, when my pulled pork fell down on the board, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. That's better. It's, it's dripping and it's juicy and oh my god oh my god becky look at this big pulled pork mm. i like this pulled Boston pork butt. i believe it's that beer call. it's the combination of the apple cider vinegar in combination with the pork fat that's magical mm. because there's so much fat in the tray if do you think that it has anything to do with doing it in the quickest way possible as well? Mm, mm, no. No? Uh, maybe. If 
you cook it for a longer period of time, there's more time for the fat to get out of the pork. It just drips out. If you smoke it for a longer period of time, it just has more time to get out. And we wrapped it so fast, didn't even stand a chance. Mm. So did we just change the game? I think we did. <laughs>